Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Time to Make Something. So I was watching Peter McKinnon's video of what's your excuse? And I realized that I keep having excuses to not make these videos. And so I thought what I would do is instead of trying to have these longer um, form videos that I would just give you updates about what's going on when it's going on. So um, if you want to check out his video, it'll be, I think it's up here. Could be up here. I don't know. One of the little pop up. But um, today I am working on some heat transfers. So I do a bunch of heat transfer vinyl for a, what I would consider a competitive business. Um, but I don't really consider us competitors. Uh, we just, I feel that there's tons of market share and that there's enough work to go around for both of us. So I am working on some transfers for them. They don't own the equipment to manufacture them. They actually have, I think, four or five six-head embroidery machines. Um, I have my single head here, as you can see here in the back. Um, but they don't have a cutter or a large format printer. So I'm able to help them and then I outsource my large embroidery jobs to them. So it's kind of a win-win situation. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Um, I am saying tonight because I do this after hours. I have a full-time job that I still work at to help support my family. And I do this in the evenings to help grow my business. I am trying really hard to be able to do it full time and I, as part of running this business, I want to document that journey and document kind of what I've been doing and what's going on. So just a little quick update. I'm doing some heat transfers tonight. They're due tomorrow morning. Um, got some stickers I got to make. I'm trying to decide whether or not I need to print those tonight. I haven't had a, a free weekend in a while so I should get them done so that I can. I've got 200 2x2 stickers that I need to print and 100 4x4. Four four. They're all the same stickers and they don't need to be individually cut. They're just going to be uh, excuse me, on sheets. Um, the customer is going to give them out to people that he kind of approves um, to put on their walls or windows. Um, he does reviews and so they're just little stickers to go on people's places of business. Other than that, let me pull up my kind of to-do list here. I use a program called Airtables to manage my to-do list if you want to look at it and see. Um, so I've got some shirts that I'm waiting to hear from the customer on. I've got some business cards that I need to do more business cards, um, stickers, a bunch of hats, um, privacy hats all over my office. Got a bunch of hats to do. I even ordered some more hats tonight. Um, I order them from a few different places, but I have found that SLC Activewear um, is a good place. You can find that uh, link at my website, timetomakesomething.com. Um, they're a good source for a lot of hats. The Richardson 112, 115, the Yupong brand, I think that's how you say it. Um, so I got a bunch of hats to do, some shirts to do, um, and then some outsourced screen printing because I don't do that myself. I have another company that does that for me. And then some promotional products that are also outsourced. So let me know what questions you have. I'll try to keep you updated and just keep myself honest of when I'm working, how I'm working, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and stay subscribed so you can see what's going on.